Hey guys, so I am currently in Italy and let me quickly explain why because we're not here on a vacation. My boyfriend is driving a race here in Italy and we're also not alone so we're also with his co-driver and two, not technicians. I'm not even sure what it is called in English. And this is also the first time that I brought my dog Bowie on a vacation because Italy we can drive with the car. After the race is over on Sunday we're going to a beach because where we are right now there is no beach, no sea. And then we're taking Bowie to his first beach and his first time at the sea which I'm super excited for. The house is amazing. It is huge. So I would say let's start with a house tour. This is when you enter it's a little bit honestly there's not a lot of light like natural light so that's why I have them turned on I don't think you would see oh, oh yeah it's it's very dark in here here to the right we have like this little is it a cabinet with glasses and coffee mugs and stuff like that then to the left we have this huge is it a chimney I feel like my English words are always lacking when I need them the most here's my dog boy and then we have the kitchen and here oh my gosh please excuse the mess i've been on my laptop all morning and i'm gonna go outside later on and show you the balcony so all my chargers and stuff like that is still out here but we have this huge sitting area which is super cute the kitchen which is also huge we even have a dishwasher very nice here we have a kettle and a coffee machine I'm not even sure is this an, is an oven I didn't even look into it yes we have an oven and a fridge which is also very big which I love as you can tell it is already very full <laughs> and then we have this kind of like a living room situation we don't have a TV or anything but we have another chimney the first room when you enter is our room please excuse the mess we have this huge bed the lights on a wall very nice the ceiling in this room is so tall like how and then from the other side we have this very gorgeous painting here and then the coolest thing is the moon on top okay so this is the room without any light you can see the big painting and then how cool is that there is a special light so it lights up the moon and this will it is i love it i love this idea i kind of want to have this at home one day and then we walk into the bathroom which we have a huge sink i love big sinks because as you can tell I have a lot of stuff. I have so much skincare and makeup and all of that stuff. It takes so much space up in my luggage, whatever. All of my stuff, my boyfriend's stuff, even though <laughs> like the sunscreen and stuff like that is even something that I use. Yeah, his stuff, my stuff. Huge mirror, hi, by the way. As we turn here, we have this little whatever. Huge bathroom. Like, I hope you can see that on the video, but huge bathroom, also very high ceiling shower is amazing it even has this little window here where you can put in your shower gel i mean this, this is so cute i love it and then when you turn around you have these little windows and now we when we look outside let me show you the view let me show you the view there is the pool and here is our balcony, which I'm gonna show you now. And we have other rooms. There is another room where I don't wanna go inside because there is my boyfriend's co-driver and obviously she has her stuff in there. And the technicians are gonna sleep upstairs, but they're not here yet, so I can show you the room very quickly. This is their room, second room, and a very small, but cute bathroom. And then this is the outside area. Boy. I'm thinking of going into the pool. There's only one person there. I still need to do some stuff so I'm gonna chill here a little bit outside and have my coffee and do some editing and computer work and think about going into the pool maybe. <laughs> I 
I just changed into my bikini. Nobody's in a pool, so I was like, maybe, maybe I'm gonna check it out. There are two people going all the time, and apparently they have the apartment right beneath me. Why am I so shy? But I wanted to vlog it, and I don't want to vlog when people are there, and mm, they're going to the pool again. Now I cannot vlog. Oh no, that was my chance. <laughs> Today is Saturday and it was unfortunately the last full day here. I am so sad that it's already over. I pretty much didn't do anything since I was alone in this villa house. The last three days, pretty much the entire day. All I did pretty much was editing, I did some job um, applications and I was just enjoying the amazing view and the pool. I want to stay here, work from here. The only thing I would need would be a gym. I can wake up, have my breakfast with this amazing view, work, then go into the pool, work a little bit more, have my afternoon coffee with some biscuits or with a cake or something, oh my gosh, and then have my relaxing evening on the balcony again. I've been enjoying it a little bit too much maybe yeah i love it here i feel like i was not really in a good mood between lisbon and now i've been a little bit struggling being at home lately i don't know but ever since we're here i'm like it's all gone it's all gone i just want to stay here yesterday um after we had our pasta pasta and the others were leaving again and i was home alone i was making friendship bracelets outside i haven't made them in so long and i was like okay the concert is coming up i need to make some bracelets i didn't even realize it i i was watching youtube videos and suddenly it was like four hours later and then i was like oh Okay, maybe I need to stop. Like the battery of my MacBook was already dying. I didn't even notice it. But I love, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Today, I'm eating dinner by myself. I think I'm gonna make myself a bread with some prosciutto or pesto pasta. I'm not sure. Should I make myself pesto pasta? I don't know yet. And sit outside and continue my bracelet evening because I got everything done that I wanted to get done today. I did my job applications, I edited my video and I edited my TikTok, made a thumbnail, <laughs> uploaded the YouTube video, everything done. So now I can enjoy my evening. Tomorrow in the morning, we are leaving pretty early. We have to leave by 10 a.m. and I think they are coming home from the race past midnight. And then we're going to Rimini, to the beach where dogs are allowed. And I am really excited how Bowie is liking the beach and the sea. It's gonna be a little bit different being in a hotel again and not have like, you know, your own kitchen. I just realized I don't even have a spoon for his food. Oh, and I really, I really wanna get some groceries. I wanna get some wine. I wanna get some pasta, some pesto and some chips for at home. Because like yesterday we had like this lime and salt chips. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. So I want to do that. I want to get a few photos in Rimini. And we only have like two days, like tomorrow, Sunday and Monday. And then Tuesday we're already leaving. Oh my gosh. But I'm, I'm excited. Enough rambling. I'm going to make some bracelets now and enjoy the last bits of the pretty view. <laughs>
back home from Italy and I wanted to update you on the whole dog beach situation. So let's first start with the hotel. Well, the hotel doesn't look as bad on the video as it was in real life, but um, number one, it was super, super tiny. So when we had all of our stuff on the floor, because you have to imagine before that we were in this huge house and we had so much stuff with us. And then we also went to the grocery store and well, we had, we had so many things and we couldn't leave it in the car because it was extremely, extremely hot. So we had to take everything, all of our robot felt like 100 bags out of the car and bring it into this tiny hotel room. <laughs> the whole floor was pretty much covered in our stuff and the bathroom was just in the middle of the room with only a glass wall. So there was not a lot of privacy if you wanted to go to the toilet. I mean, we had a balcony, which was very, which was very cute. This room was pretty much the definition of we're only going to sleep there. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. We were only there for two nights. So it was like, I'm going to survive it. Honestly, after we came home, I was, I was so happy. I was never that happy in my entire life to just walk into a bigger apartment, have all of that space, have my shower, have my kitchen. Especially if it comes to Bowie, I think it was so much nicer to have our own house or even in the future, maybe our own apartment where we have a kitchen where I can prepare his food and stuff like that. So I wouldn't go into a hotel with Bowie again. Let's talk about Rimini. If you have ever been to any of the typical Italy vacation spots like Rimini, Jesolo, Lignano, this is pretty much all I've ever seen from Italy. So I was never like a huge fan of Italy to be completely honest but now I fell in love with Tuscany and I definitely want to go there again it was absolutely stunning it was so beautiful in Tuscany we had like woods and grass and nature you could have such beautiful walks and Rimini was just concrete i mean i know there are dogs who live in cities but i am i'm not about that life and going on a walk was not a very nice experience and all of them look the same like all of these typical italy vacation places they, they all look the same there is just a bunch of hotels then there's beach by beach by beach by beach with so many sun beds it's not awful but it it was my favorite experience it's if you've been there you know what i'm talking about now about the dog beach i mean if you ever want to go there i would honestly highly highly recommend the dog beach because it was so fun. It's just not something where I would personally want to stay for an entire week. But if you're only gonna stay there for two or three days, totally fine. I think it was called dog no problem or something like that. They had their own place where dogs can play and run. Then they had these boxes where we rented one of them. Um, so you have to pay for them. They're not free. And so you get this box where you are in your own area pretty much and your dog can run around, which I really wanted to have because I don't want to, you know, have him with his leash all the time hanging around somewhere. Also, when you're in this box, I'm not so scared of other dogs coming up and, you know, I'm always scared of someone biting him and stuff like that. And there were always dogs, you know, walking around. So yeah on leashes but still whatever and you can also book a little swimming pool for your dog which we obviously did because Bowie loves his little swimming pools he's not a swimmer he doesn't go into water where he cannot stand he cannot swim in general so he has a swimming vest so he doesn't like deep water but he loves a small swimming pool. He loves the water hose. That's his favorite thing ever. The first day when we arrived so on Sunday, he was so excited uh, to see the beach for the first time. He was going into the pool, going into the sand, going into the pool, going into the sand, like all the time and just jumping around a hundred times in and out of the pool and digging into the sand like he had so much fun the first day then you realize the second day he was a little bit exhausted he was more calm and on this specific beach you also have like water bowls you have uh, ice cream for your dogs you have your own station where you can wash them um, where you can wash the sand off at the end of the day then they can go into the water like into the sea very early in the morning or at like 7 p.m so during the day unfortunately it's not allowed for dogs to swim in the sea you can still go there like to the sea but they're not allowed to go in there and swim so yeah he was excited for the sea but he was always a little bit scared of the waves he wasn't really sure but he was walking around there enjoying himself and then the second day we um, put on his swim vest and we went a little bit inside with him so yeah I think he had his fun I think he really liked it the whole dog beach experience was amazing if you love dogs obviously um yeah it's it was such a cool place to be seeing all the people being there 
here with the dogs and that was it on the Italy vlog I hope you enjoyed it I've been vlogging a lot in the past few weeks so my next video is gonna be fitness content again which I'm very excited for subscribe if you want to see that and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and I hope to see my next video bye